So we're always looking for opportunities to increase um, instruction with good instructional techniques for listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Pay attention to my expression and the rhythm of the message. We focus on reading fluency with accuracy, pacing, and, and expression, but our children also need that with their oral skills, and the drama and the theater is just the perfect way to build that with a purpose in mind so that it's meaningful for our students. You know, somebody is lying broke, <laughs> snap, and you're floating away, and you need to rescue her, okay, go. <laughs> Yeah, you, you are in danger. You, you are start moving Daisy away. Rescue. Pull her back. Fast, rapido, rapido, inside. Everybody. Good. Um, okay. And close the door and... Ah, do you see that far away? Wow, that's so fantastic. Wow, that's beautiful. Miraculous. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Horizon. You can see the sun. Yeah. yeah. Two, three, four. Ready for the answer. Here it goes. They always come to visit, so we could like know when is the when it's the time to study or when it's the time to play. Drama does fantastic things in uh, in kids. <laughs> Students have so much potential when they get involved in drama because they are able to participate in so many different levels. It's really an equitable opportunity for everyone in the classroom to get to produce something and achieve and really support their overall language goals. I feel like theater um, really is right along there with those oral language standards that they have for, for English language development. Oh, beautiful.